Hello everyone and welcome to Fred Productions tutorial on how to make a 3D text with some glittery nice reflections. I start off with opening up Adobe Illustrator. I go File, New and I create a new document. I use the text tool to type in Bling using the font Myriad Pro. If you don't have access to that font just choose another similar sans serif font. I'm going to resize it and I type in 144 points and I'm going to set it from regular to bold. Now I need to go and get a gradient which I'll find in my swatch library. I use the rectangle tool just to draw a little box. This is going to be a gold blingy looking gradient. I go open swatch library, gradients and metal. And up in the top left corner there is the desired gradient. I want all the tints in the gradient to be separate swatches. So I go new color group and I name them goldies. And there I have the four new swatches. I go and I select bling and I'm gonna choose the one that I look it looks more, more the most like gold. I go to a reflection tool, double click on it, horizontal and copy. Now this is going to be my reflection. Uh, I go to transparency and I take down the transparency uh, to about 33, 34. Now that started looking like a reflection. Now I select both bling the text layer and the reflection and I go effect, 3D, extrude and bevel. Now I want this to be displayed from the front and the X axis I will set that to minus 10 and the bevel will be set to classic and I want it to go from inside to out. Now I'm going to turn off the ambient light trying to create some kind of uh, studio feeling with just a couple of light settings. I add another light and drag that down to the corner and I'll take down the intensity until 33-34. Now I'll go to blend steps and I'll put that on maximum 256 to be able to create as smooth uh, shapes as possible. I preview it and I press OK. Now I need to position the reflection a little bit down so it looks like it's kind of floating underneath the bling layer. Now I want to turn this into the gradient that I choose before so I'll go and select them all. I go object and expand appearance. See now all of them will be selected and I choose the front one using the pointer tool. I go select same fill color. Now I get all of them selected, I turn them into the gradient. Using the gradient tool I go from left to right to be able to um, position the gradient, the gradient as I wish. Now I go and I put a rectangle just straight over the reflection. Make sure to cover it all. Now I want another gradient. I want the gradient to go from white to black. So I have to go in and change the settings since I can't find the default gradient. Yeah, and I need to turn that into black. And I need to change the angle of the gradient and I'll set that to minus 90. So I want it to start with from white going to black. Yeah, just like that. Now I go and select both the, ref the reflection and the gradient and I go to transparency and I go make opacity mask. I'll just turn that off so you can see what the outcome is so far. And then I go highlight it, go back to the opacity mask, double click on it and then I can edit it. So I'll just choose to make it a slightly smaller so it turns fades away out into white. Now this is the final outcome. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have. My name is Henrik Limblad and I hope you will be back for another tutorial. Thank you very much.